Hi guys, my name is Hie, I'm a Terran player for O Gaming Academy, and I wanted to do a video about TVP, seeing as how I've already done a, a video on TVT and um, TVZ, and I kind of talked about some things that um, at least I struggle with, and I know a lot of, I, from what I've heard, a lot of other Terran players struggle with in those two matchups, and I, um, I kind of wanted to do the same thing for TVP, so the biggest problem for a lot of Terran players is well, how do I kill the big scary Protoss army? And I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and uh, address that. So the big scary Protoss army is Colossus, Templar, and uh, Charger Lots. And the best thing that we can do to combat that army is to do the best that we can from keeping keeping them from getting that army. And the one weakness to that army, the Charger Lot Colossus Templ uh, Templar army, is that it's incredibly gas heavy. And so, what we want to do to do to keep them from getting that army is, in Wings of Liberty, we would see a lot of these 10-minute timings from Terran players with you know Metabax and plus one and Stim, and they'd work really well. But now Protoss players have been dealing with that for two years, and now the fact that they've got Mothership over you know Nexus Overcharge, it makes it even harder to do damage um, to Protoss players by playing that kind of strategy. So when we see Terran players go for these aggressive builds, they're really not so much about doing damage and killing stuff. It's more about posturing and making Protoss feel uncomfortable. And when Protoss is uncomfortable, then they're not really oh, you know, can I take a third? Can I tech up? Can I get more upgrades? Blah, 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 blah. We just want to make Protoss players uncomfortable. And I'll kind of show you how we can do that in this game. So we're just gonna zip ahead. Times eight speed. We just twelve. We just go twelve twelve. Reaper. Um, this is a uh, actually what Pult did um, against someone. Day nine did a daily on this recently, and um, it's really good. We pull out a gas after we get a hundred, and then just get a reactor, and then just get our CC and more racks and plus one and back and blah 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 blah. Our Reaper doesn't see anything really that weird. You know, he's got. He techs up to a robo, you know, completely standard stuff. Nothing really, um, nothing really that strange. One little thing, um, I did a lot of damage to this mothership core. If I had killed this mothership core or forced a um, uh, time warp out of it, I pr I thought about this. I would have stopped stim and gone for shields and done a poke, because I think I could have gotten a lot of damage done there. But that's not what we're focusing on this game. So just teching up, teching up, getting all our. Getting our uh, plus one, getting our uh, starport, s s you know, standard stuff. Just oh yeah, this, you know, this probably looks a lot like your guys' games. So we move out, kill that. Um, whenever I get ready to move out, I kind of I do one of these little things. I zoom in and out. That helps to see the observers a little bit better. If I don't see it there in this general area, I messed up my mouse sensitivity. If I don't see it in this area, then I always scan in this in this general area. Nine times out of ten, there will be an observer here, and you know he'll spot you moving out. He does see us right here, but that's okay. We're already in his face. So this 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 little this pressure has already gone badly for us. You know we stimmed and tried to get up the ramp, and he just basically smacked us away. So now we're gonna just sit here and sit here and sit here. So we got here at what? Let's let's actually take a look at the time. Right about here. Okay, so we get here at 11.13. So the time is still going, time is still going. Time's still going. So we sat there for over two minutes, almost two and a half minutes, and his third is just barely being taken. Meanwhile, as we moved out back at the 10 minute mark, get there. Right around at the 10 minute mark when we moved out with this um relatively scary army. We start our production. Okay. So from here what we do, we've got where are our there's our fourth meta bag. Um, this is another concept that Pol has been really doing and I really like it. He will cut his starport production to get these two Raxes earlier. And I really like this because I really like that 
I really like having that big scary bioforce, that that big army, um, just trying to co to combat him. And the bigger this army is out in front, the more uncomfortable our Protoss player is going to feel trying to take um, his third base. So that's just something that I like. So, we just go home. So we've done, at this point, we've done literally no damage. Let's, let's actually look at the units lost tab. We've killed three things, and that's like a probe and some other stuff. So just, com and a zealot, I think. A probe and a zealot, and something else maybe. Just completely null damage. And we're up by 20 supply. In units, we're ahead on workers, and with mules, so we're really far ahead at this point. He tries to do some drop stuff and blah 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 blah. It doesn't really work. So, the only thing that he has going for him is that his upgrades are ahead. By quite a bit, actually. So, pause. The... So, as we said earlier in the, vi in the video, the big scary Protoss army is Charge Lot, which he's got, Colossus, which he's got, and Templar, which he's got. So once he gets this army, and he's got 3-3 upgrades, and he's basically maxed, this fight is the most important fight of the game. Um, making sure that we can deal with this army the first time around. If we take a, um, you know, if we take a really bad engagement from here, he's got how many gateways? Um, four, ten, and two more, oh, that's two robos. So he's got 10 gateways, so that actually could be much worse for us. But we, if, if we lose this fight, he's just going to lean on us. So we get you know, a really good fight. We just EMP all over him. We've got a good Viking count. Um, so we're already getting to that point where um, what, I th what I think is the best army for Terran to deal with... Um, with Protoss, which is Ghost Viking, uh, mass Ghost Viking, and so, you know, we've we had our we threw down our Ghost Academy um, relatively late. Um, let me actually find when we threw that down. Um, so we added on our, uh, we got up to eight racks. I think we even threw down a second starport. Yeah, we threw down a second starport. Because we knew he went for um, we knew he went for Colossus. If he went for Templar, this would be a um, a Ghost Academy instead. No, we threw down our Ghost Academy. Okay. So once, um, you know, once I get that the fifth racks, the up to my five racks, that's when I start building my Vikings. That's when I that's when you know I I, I start producing from the starport again. Um, you know when I when I after I get my fifth racks, you know I go up to racks six, seven, and eight. Uh, second starport, and then Ghost Academy after that. Like I said, if he had gone Templar first, um, we can replace the uh, second. We can switch the second starport in the Ghost Academy. So we'll get back to where we were. We'll just jump back. Play. Okay, cool. So we take our fifth base, and from here. At this point, all I'm building, I've completely stopped Marauders. And something that hasn't really ever been explained, I don't think, at least in good terms, is why is Mass Ghost Viking so good? And I'll explain that right now. Um, and I have my little notepad over here where I took my, uh, my notes. Um, ghosts are... Well, let me kind of back up a little bit. Protoss is so strong in the late game because of how much splash damage they have. Between Archons, Colossus, and High Templar, there's a bunch of splash damage there. The only form of splash damage that Terran has is EMP, which doesn't do real damage, but it does 100 damage of, um... It does 100 shield damage to, um, whatever it hits. So that that is splash damage. That's damage that your Marines don't have to do with their little auto attack. Um, whoops. Uh, what else? Um, they also do bonus damage to light. They do um, 26 damage to light. They have 128. They have 100 HP. Excuse me. So 
they only have 25 HP less than a Marauder, so they're surprisingly tanky. And, um, you know, they deal with High Templar, with Snipe. Um, the reason why we get the, uh, the Vikings, of course, is to pick off the Colossus, of course, but the most important thing, in my opinion, to mass ghost when you get like 30 or 40 of them, which we'll see later in this game, is the fact that they have Cloak. And Protoss's detection is extremely limited to the fact that all they have is their observers. And so you'll see, I'll even kind of slow down this, this general spot. I'm scanning this guy constantly, trying to pick off his observers with my Vikings and trying to get good angles, and just trying to keep his, um, right there, like I could have killed that Colossus, but I would have rather gotten that observer so that then my, um, if he did try and fight, my ghosts would be cloaked. So, he, um, so he saw that, you know, he lost all of his observers, so he had to back up there. So, at this point, um, all my production is, I'm maxed out, so what I do with my money is, you know, I, I think I built a couple more racks in here, but I threw down four, um, four orbitals just to ensure that I, um, I had enough scan to get rid of his, um, to get rid of his observers. Because, you know, I have, what, one, two, three, only three, uh, orbitals. So with these, I'm effectively, I'm more than doubling the number of scans that I can have at, um, at any given time. Might even be more than that, actually, I'm not sure about that, but whatever. So, yeah. At this point, all I'm producing is, out of my racks, is ghosts and marines. You'll also notice that I have a relatively low medevac count. I don't think I've built... I've never had more... I know for a fact I never had more than four medevacs at a given time in this game. Um, if we lose them, we want to rebuild them as soon as possible. Um, Vikings, as far as that goes, we don't want to have... You know, 14 is perfectly fine, but you don't want to get any more than 16 Vikings. Um, I think it takes 13 Vikings to one-shot a Colossus. I'm not 100% sure on that. But we're, we're getting close to being able to just one-shot his Colossus. Um, what else? Yeah, so just basically all it is out of these racks is just Ghosts is our primary. You know, if we queue up as many Ghosts as we can, and then we queue up as many Marines as we can. Or, you know, our, our, eight, or, eight, or, our eight or ten Marines at a time. You know, if our, we lose our Vikings, we just rebuild them. So, see, he storms and does a bunch of damage to our Ghosts, but... Because they're so darn tanky and because they're cloaked, you can't really do anything. We just eat the storm there. So we just run in, do as much damage as we, you know, we kill two bases. We lose this army, but kill two bases. But that's perfectly good. Because we're keeping, um, whoops, I keep clicking that stupid thing. We're keeping his gas income as low as we can. So right now he's only, he, at this very moment, He's mining on this gas geyser and this gas geyser, and that's it. These two are out. These two are out. He can't mine from these two because I just killed this base. He can't mine from these two because I just killed this base. So just keeping his gas count as low as we can. And also, he's had this base longer, so it's um, logical to think that those are the most mined out. I'm actually going to slow this down a little bit because this gets a little hectic. So we're just scanning everywhere, trying to figure him out. We have a bunch of ghosts. Um, we're just trying to figure out where he is, just pick off his, um, his observers when we can. Speed it up a little bit more. Also, um, one thing I want to point out. Um, if we do start to get low on money and we desperately need to start mining quickly, um, at, you know, a, a new base, we can call down, you know, our, our 10 million mules at it. But if we do that, we have to be defensive then. Um, you'll see I built two turrets here in the middle. That's if, um, you know, he starts, you know, he decides to get aggressive. He has a lot of observers. Um, if he decides to get aggressive, while we have no energy, we'll at least have a chance to detect them. And, you know, that just kind of deters his Colossus and is annoying. So if we call down these mules, we just stay defensive. So, you know, as we're, as we're about to move out with this army again, you know, we're, we're getting close to, we're close to max again. Um, you know, we check, we hit our four hotkey or whatever your hotkey is for your, um, your orbital commands. And just check, just look down, just check, oh, I don't have enough on all of my orbitals for a scan. Alright, I'll just wait another 25 seconds, and then go when I do. 
because if if he completely just moshes us with this army, we will lose. Um, even if we kill all these Colossus, that's so many High Templar in there. And I don't know how many gateways this guy has, but it's got to be a lot by now. So he'll just kind of lean on us. So killing him over here, killing him over there. Also building sensor towers. I'm always a fan of building sensor towers, even if they get killed. So he walks into a bunch of storms and just gets destroyed. Or, uh, EMPs. That little attack didn't really do anything. I'm okay. Uh, losing this base, I'm okay with. Just because we know that uh, we've been nuking up here and down here the entire game. Uh, not the entire game, but we've killed... You can see we've killed 55 workers with nukes. So, sacrificing this base to let our ghost count get a little bit higher is perfectly fine. And then we can also just fall back and defend around this planetary. Yeah. He tries to swing over here. We've got, like, 10 million ghosts with cloak over here. He has no observers. Looking up here again. That hits and kills a bunch more probes. How many have I killed this game? 72. So he's pretty much dead from here. He's got really... He's got no workers. He's, he's... I'm securing another base. I'm nuking up here, even though there's no workers. He's denying this base again, but I'm just gonna march over here with 10 million ghosts and just not even pretend to care that his army's there. And then from here, we pretty much just do a little bit, like a victory march up to here and then through here. So yeah. As select would say, good shit, good shit. Um, yeah, so that's basically how you play Mass Ghost. You get, um, getting there is the hardest part. Um, but once you get there, it's extremely good. It's, it's extremely good. But the, um, once you do get there, the most important thing to do is to make sure that you take a favorable engagement uh, where there's no observers above you. And you can even see I was being very cautious, you know, not spending a whole lot of my energy. So, yeah, getting the Ghost Viking is the hard part. Once you get there, making sure that you take a favorable engagement because you have killed all of his observers is the key. So, yeah, that I think will... Do I have anything else on here? Nope, that's just about it that I have for my notes. So, thank you all for watching. I hope that you all found this useful. And, um... I'll probably be thinking over the next day or two about my next topic that I'm going to do. But, uh, you can all find out when that will be released if you follow me on Twitter, at HeyASE2. Um, you can also watch me stream. I have a very entertaining stream, I think. It's called the Cornucopia of Sick Timings. And I stream and I talk with my teammates and whatnot. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, because all my videos will be uploaded here. So, thank you all for watching, and...